What's going on guys, Kyger here, and today we're going to talk about last night there was a big live stream in French about the quarter three updates coming to global. Most of these should be coming to NA as well, let's jump into it. So before we talk about what happened in this live stream, I want to address two things that have been stated already that did not come true. One is Twisted Marsh right here says first week of May. This was one month ago that this was posted. Uh, one month right there. And it's not ambiguous of what date that means because it also says Galagos Ruins will be the first week of May as well. And that is already in the game. Next, uh, we will talk about a what monsters coming next. But if we take a look right here, they say Magical Archer will be coming soon. This was also posted a month ago. And the very next line is that uh, there will, the collaboration will be first. So right after the collaboration is supposed to be Magical Archer. Uh, these are two things that are different from everything else we've been told. But let's get into the actual what happened. So come all the way down here. So right here. Uh, so this is our May roadmap. A uh, bunch of different things. So as I said, it was in French. Uh, I asked about this directly. Uh, to the workers over at Com to us and uh, I said uh, on the discord in the game and even this stream is all in French for global and you know global supposed to be these three different regions uh, you're kind of alienating at least two different regions of people uh, as well as I mean we both NA and Global get a lot of this information at the same time, so you're also alienating the NA players. And uh, it, what I was told was that uh, they have a headquarters uh, in EU that their main language is French, which is why uh, Global is French. Uh, they're working on getting uh, translations and stuff so we can get all the information at the same time but it is something I'm heavily pushing for. So a lot of this had to be translated and what we have here is uh, the only thing that got, there were two slides for May, one was Quintana and one was this. Uh, the Quintana one is guaranteed today for Global. Everything else here uh, they didn't specifically say it would be today. So it's possible uh, Cantana is going to be its own thing today. And next week will be this one because they were two separate slides. The Cantana one, they said specifically the 17th. The This slide here, there was no date attached. Uh, this slide here is uh, Twisted Marsh which uh, I did the updated guide for you guys uh, last week because that's when it was supposed to come out. Uh, the uh, Nine-Tailed Fox, which as I showed you is supposed to be Magical Archers, uh, but they are going to be very, very powerful. I believe they are being added because of another raid that's coming shortly, and they're going to help in that raid. Then we have uh, in the bottom... Uh, the field, which I think is really cool with the cherry blossoms and stuff, that is a new, uh, they call it Capture the Flag, but this reminds me of King of the Hill from Halo and stuff like that. You go to the point, like right here, and as you're standing on the point, uh, you get points, and either uh, there's a max number of points, like first to 300 or whatever the number is, wins, or... Uh, there's a time limit and whoever has the most points after the time limit wins. Uh, that's going to be very interesting. When they first announced this, it sounded like it was going to be a MOBA uh, battle arena. It's like League of Legends, uh, uh, Han, Heroes of New, New Earth, things like that. 
but it sounds like it'll be slightly different. Then we have June. We have several things happening in June. So they showed this screen, which made everyone believe that you're all getting the rerun of uh, this collaboration, but you're not. Uh, you're getting something similar. You're getting functional reprints of the three characters, uh, the main character right here, well, sorry, the four main character right here, Narn Ha, uh, A.V., and uh, Mi Ryong. Uh, you're getting, just like we talked about a little while ago, uh, that I wanted to see uh, for you guys, you're getting it. Uh, they're going to be different names, look different, but have the exact same abilities. Uh, Mi Ryong over here is an interesting PvP uh, unit. I'll talk about them when they come out, but just really quick. Mi Ryong is an interesting PvP character, does bonus damage to fire, which is her elemental weakness, and takes less damage from water, which is her elemental advantage. Uh, the main character right here, uh, Mi Ryong Kim. Hi Ryong uh, Kim? Kim. Um, he was busted when he came out in Korea. Uh, they hotfixed, nerfed him in the same day. Uh, when it was released in NA, he was in the fixed version. Uh, he was super, super powerful while he was busted. Now he's kind of whatever. Uh, Narian Ha. Narian Ha. Uh, she is very similar to Argon. Uh, her multipliers and stuff like that. Her big thing is she applies uh, block beneficial effects. She also has a passive similar to Mi Ryong that uh, she has like super elemental advantage. So normally she has the bonuses against fire. She gets extra bonuses against fire. So uh, she's very, very powerful against fire stuff, but also just good in general. AV back here is actually a very decent uh, four star, uh, four star, what you call it, uh, support unit gives defense up and a bunch of other buffs. But uh, you are not getting the characters, you're getting something similar, which is great because that means they could do the same thing with the One Punch Man characters, right? Uh, then let me make sure that we're not missing anything. I'm sorry. Do, 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 do. Uh, so right here. So what I did miss is at the same time this happens, uh, there's supposed to be, we'll talk about that there. Okay. Uh, so June, June. Okay. Uh, then you have the new raid that... Uh, what's her face? Nine Tail Fox is used for because the fire Nine Tail Fox gives crit resist uh, crit um, resist down, and this boss has huge crit resist. I'll do a updated guide when that happens. Uh, this is uh, Ragdoll, um, very very iconic character in the Sky Arena game. Uh, then we have. Two transmogs, uh, Chimera, and a lot of us believe because of the sword and stuff that this is Valkyrie. Should be very, very interesting. There's no way they can mess up Dragon Knight because he is iconic for this game. Uh, then we have down here. It's supposed to be uh, a new battlefield. Uh, with a boss, so I don't know if this is going to be, uh, they didn't talk about five players, they didn't talk about anything like that, just said it's a battlefield that has a big boss monster, and then also magical archers, which I have been waiting for for a while. Uh, big one right here for June is this is uh, Guild Occupation. Uh, looks and sounds like Siege and Sky Arena. Three guilds fighting over these bases. And if it works the same way in Sky Arena, uh, you are going to uh, take these towers. And as long as you have those towers, you get points over time. And uh, 
after the event is over in Sky Arena, it was two days, so probably over the weekend. Uh, you fight, you fight for these towers. Uh, it looks like up here is going to be the defenses. Uh, it looks like you set them up with four monsters per defense, and you have to clear all of them to take over the base, and then set your own defenses. Uh, in Sky Arena, uh, you got a bonus for taking over an entire section. So, like, down here would be my guild, another guild, a third guild. If I took over all of this, I would get all the points per tower, but I would also get a bonus because I took them all. Uh, encouraging you to fight more people and then right here just looks to be uh, the field that you will see when you go to challenge and fighting on uh, it's gonna be very very interesting it'll be really interesting because right here uh, it shows four monsters but it shows you and four monsters which is interesting so it's five literal five on five or do you go four against five and the defense naturally has an advantage we don't know there's also supposed to be uh a new function soul collection uh this sounds like uh just said soul collection didn't really talk about it but i'm assuming uh based off of the korean stream from two weeks ago uh this is probably the costume swap that they talked about where you could take a costume that you purchased or got on Orbia and then transfer it over to Kina, for example. Uh, they also talked about ticket merging. Uh, literally just said the name and then nothing else about it. Um, I'm hoping that it'll be like converting tickets. Like uh, you can... Uh, you can make a sweep ticket out of pog tickets or whatever. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work because all of them are very, very valuable, but we'll see what happens. The last slide we have right here, I'll show you some other stuff in a second. But in July, we have some interesting stuff. Um, in July, the Moonshadow Force, the one that we're normally used to right now, is being changed to 5 on 5. Uh, so it sounds like we'll have both going at the same time, and then in July that becomes 5v5 as well, making it very solid 5 on 5s. There will also be a guild base expansion, allowing you to do more stuff in Guild Town. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do with it. Uh, the buffs to the bath is already huge. Uh, the fishing thing is pretty big. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they add to that. Then we have the Chakram Dancer and Boomerang Warrior uh, in Sky Arena. These are natural four stars, so but they've already shown us that they've made other units that were four stars in Sky Arena, five stars in Chronicles, but these two have combination attacks, so if they're on the same team, they get bonuses, uh, follow-up attacks, things like that. It'll be very, very interesting as... Uh, either they could both be four stars and then easier to get, or they could both be five stars, but one of them is in a banner and the other one is a, like a, a two to four week uh, quest thing that you unlock uh, just for doing the missions or whatever, right? So making an event. And then the Chakram one is the one you have to summon on, and the Boomerang one is the one you get for free. Uh, this isn't confirmed, but I think that's how I would like to see it. So you don't have to pull on two different banners to do the thing. Because if you just have Chakram, you're not really doing anything. If you just have Boomerang, you're not really doing anything. I was told that in Sky Arena, one of the Boomerang ones were fine, but besides that, nothing. Uh, Kraka looking okay over here, especially in July, right? She's got the bikini and stuff. I'm sure some of you will, uh, buy that. Uh, let me see. I don't have the screenshot for August, but I can show you some of the stuff here. So, this is when they were making, uh, the new summoner, Saleta, which will be in August. Uh, how they made her, 
what the other outfits look like as well as they did some stuff with her weapon showing you the size comparison she's like right under the height of Orbia but a little bit bigger than Kina uh, then uh, another comparison what is interesting here is they show a fifth guy right here which I thought was interesting because there was no mention of who that is uh, that's probably the next summoner uh, coming out and it looks at least from the body type like a guy so it'll be three girls and two guys if it works out like that I do find it very funny that a B B two C this is like um, how they went with making her it's very interesting to watch like they gave her hips they you you can see what happened there but um there will also be a main quest expansion in uh, during that uh, during August and uh, that's probably introducing Saleta letting you get her it'll be interesting if you have to go through um, the story to unlock her and she's not a starting character I've seen that in other games where they keep the main starting characters and then you can unlock a character through gameplay uh, they talk about the uh, a new five-star paladin character uh, from everything I've read and seen uh, it sounds like uh, she's also a hallmark character of them uh, usually a tank guardian kind of class uh, they'll also be adding the account shop but uh, from what we've seen on the Korea one they said there will be changes made so it'll be interesting to see uh, there were some hints that it might be uh, instead of just a account level that you um, you have to do missions and things like that uh, that it will be different than just having an account level and then buying stuff with gems so it'll be interesting to see what they do with that and then also in August we have the one year anniversary of the Korean global launch and I know we talk about um, come to us charging us uh, big money for all the stuff but something they are known for is being very good on their anniversaries uh, I played uh, I checked out Sky Arena for the ninth year anniversary just a little bit ago and they were giving away uh, LD not um, LD not threes LD not fours and then um, elemental selection so fire water wind uh, you you do like a selective of uh, 30 units and then you pick whichever one you want of the three as well as a bunch of energy blah 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 things like that so it'd be interesting to see what happens but yeah a couple other things uh, they showed us the development of the Dragon Knight uh, ABC leaning towards C this one right here is what they ended on uh, he also summons uh, the dragon to fight with him at least the fire version uh, they also showed how they came up with uh, Farrakel I please don't skip his story his story is very very interesting I loved hearing about his story uh, he has his three elements look really cool and then his neutral element which this is bad really really badass art but yeah guys let me know in the comment section down below what you're most interested in and do you think they'll hold up to these things because I showed you in the very beginning of the video uh, they've said several things that just haven't happened till next time guys